Edward Davis was born in Shreveport, Louisiana on February 27, 1911, the oldest of 10 children. It was his father's Ford Model T that shaped his interest and love for automobiles. He worked first at a car garage, then a small car washing business and later a machine shop. Davis attended Cass Technical High School and wanted to become an accountant. However, the stock market crash in 1929 and the subsequent decline of the job market moved him another direction. Davis was later offered a job in the Dodge Brothers Foundry. 1939, a great opportunity became available for Davis, and he was able to open his first used car dealership at Verner and Brush Streets in Detroit. Known as Davis Motor Sales, it became one of the first black-owned franchised car dealers in the city. He sold new Studebaker automobiles and trucks to the city of Detroit and local businesses. Many people in the community loved his professional business practices and admired his success. Several community leaders supported Davis, including Reverend R. L. Bradby and the Reverend William H. Peck. Later, Mayor Albert E. Cobo appointed Davis to the Community Relations Commission, where he served from 1953 to 1961. In 1957, one year after Davis terminated his agreement with Studebaker, Davis became a sub-dealer for local Ford dealer, Floyd Rice, for two years. During the 1960s, Davis received word that the Fisher Freeway, I-75, was about to be constructed, forcing him to relocate his Detroit dealership. In 1963, he achieved another milestone when he was awarded a Detroit Chrysler Plymouth dealership. Davis received a great deal of positive press when he opened the doors of his new dealership and many people from all over Metro Detroit came in to purchase new vehicles. The dealership was located on Dexter Avenue in Elmhurst on the city's west side. Davis said, it was one of the proudest moments of my career. For many years, Davis's Chrysler Plymouth dealership generated high sales volume and a loyal clientele because his honest practices were valued by many within the community.